Hey y'all, today we're making crock pot taco soup. All right, so let's get into it. So you're going to need diced tomatoes, ranch style beans, sweet corn, rotel, sour cream, some Fritos, also taco seasoning, and you're also going to need ranch seasoning. Okay, and of course some cheese for your toppings, of course beef, all right? So of course you're gonna start off with getting your ground beef all nice and brown so we have it in this pan, and we're gonna go ahead and break it down and then we're gonna keep um, manipulating it, stirring it around periodically until it's nice and fully cooked, okay? So just breaking it down here and then here, breaking down a little bit more, you see it's already turning brown. Y'all, this is a great soup recipe for any time of the year. Just like you go to Olive Garden and enjoy their soups and salad with the breadsticks, same thing. It has a lot of nice um, ingredients like the corn and the ranch style beans, but it's still not a heavy soup. You know, it gets heavier as you add the toppings, the, the chips, the sour cream, the cheese, depending on how much you add. So this is really something that you will enjoy anytime. Okay, so as you can see, our meat is almost nice and brown and done. So once it's fully brown like here, we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the stove and we're gonna drain all the excess oil and then we're going to be ready to go ahead and add it into the crock pot. Okay, so we're good to go. Here we are with the crock pot. We're going to put it on high. And then we're going to go ahead and add our meat in there. Okay, and then we're just going to dump all of our other ingredients. The tomatoes, all the juice, everything. See how simple this is? Everything from each can that we're using. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add the rotel. Two cans, give this a little kick, get a little extra flavor. All right, and we're gonna add another can of Rotel. And if you notice, we didn't add any seasoning besides the seasonings that I showed you in the beginning, like when we were browning the meat, because all you're gonna need is the taco seasoning and the uh, ranch seasoning. Okay, and there's our ranch style beans. All right, get all those nice juices in there. Okay, and the corn. And I'm not a, like a big corn and soup type person, but y'all, this corn, this is sweet corn, by the way. This corn in this taco soup is excellent. So don't sleep on the corn. Okay, so we have that in there. Let's go ahead and add the seasonings, the ranch seasoning. And y'all, it doesn't taste ranchy. If, if you haven't used ranch seasoning before, it's excellent. Okay, and there is our taco seasoning. All right, so you wanna go ahead and give this a good mix, okay? And so after you mix it, you want to go ahead and make sure that you put the lid on it. And we're going to go ahead and cook this for about two and a half hours on hot heat. All right, so halfway through, when you think about it, you want to go back, come back and check on it and stir it up. I'll show you about the halfway point here in a minute. Okay. All right, so we're good and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and put the top on it. All right, so this is our halfway point. We're checking on it. Of course, a little bit of the water has come to the top, but it is not done yet. It'll have like a real fresh taste if you go ahead and take it out at this point, even though a lot of things are already pre-cooked, so to speak. So you wanna go ahead and cook it for the remaining time. And then here we are two and a half hours later and we're good to go. So what I did is went ahead and just gave this a stir and put the top on it until I was ready to go ahead and serve it. So just turn the heat off, unplug and everything like that, and then just let it settle. And of course, before you uh, store this, you wanna make sure that it's completely cool. All right, okay, so there's your taco soup. So we're gonna go get ready to go ahead and plate this. So I always use a bowl. Okay, so we're gonna add our taco soup into the bowl first. Now look at that, it was so good. I love this soup, I literally can eat this anytime. Okay, so as you're soup into the bowl, you can add, you know, however much or however little you want to add. And then you can add your toppings in the order that you want to add them. So picture the Fritos are placed a little bit different. You don't know how we do for presentation. But in real life, you want to put the cheese first because the cheese gets nice and melted by the soup, right? And then add your Fritos and add your sour cream, however you want to do it. You can add, you know, some fresh onions, some scallions, um, some jalapenos. Those are good toppings to add to the soup as well. Just really make it your own. And, you know, as always, we hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to our channel, and we'll definitely catch you next time.